earlier we talked about the non economical ec non economic good of the horse and the nigger in their wild or natural state we talked out the principle of breaking and tying them together for an orderly production furthermore we talked about paying particular attention to the female savage and her offspring for orderly future planning then more recently we stated that by reversing the positions of the male and the female savages, we had created an orbiting cycle that turns on its own axis forever, unless, phenom unless a phenomenal occurs and reshifts the position of the male and female savages. Our experts warned us about the possibility of this phenomenon occurring. For they say that the mind has a strong drive to correct and recorrect itself over, over a period of time. If it can touch some substantial original historic base. Let me read that again. For they say that the mind has a strong drive to correct and recorrect itself over a period of time. If it can touch some substantial, original, historical base. Okay, now let's break this down. The mind has a strong drive to correct and recorrect itself. In other words, no matter what they do to you, mm -hmm. in time, nature, nature will bring you back Absolutely. to your original form. Mm -hmm. In time. In time. Nature will bring you back to your original form. And they advised us that the best way to deal with this phenomenon Okay, you continue. Is to shave of the brute's shave mental... Shave off. Shave off the oh. brute's oh, mental shave history. Shave off the brute's mental history. Yeah. And create a multiplicity of phenomenal of illusions so that each illusion will twirl on its own orbit. Okay. Uh, 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 Something and they... similar to, f to floating balls in a vacuum. Okay, okay. Now, do you get that? Have you got that? No, no, okay. I haven't got they that. They advise us that the best way to deal with this phenomena is to shave off the brute's mental history. In other words, all that people talk about Africa, uh -huh. don't tell them niggas nothing about Africa. Oh, okay. okay. Uh, talk about the pyramids, uh -huh. don't let them niggas know that they built the pyramids. Shave off. Okay. Shave off his history, uh -huh. you know? Okay. Timbuktu, you know? Mm-hmm. The planters, the, pla the planet of Atlantis. Mm-hmm. This is one way to offset it, is by not letting him know anything. The, see, the mind has a strong drive to correct and recorrect itself over mm -hmm. a period of time. Mm -hmm. Over a period of time, you lay down a dead, you lay down a, a dead matter. You understand what I mean? Yeah. And that's why you start becoming, becoming to yourself and your thoughts start coming back. So what you have to do is to put all kind of illusions into this man's mind. Mm -hmm. You sorry, you no good, you trifling, you black, you ugly, you got to think, and all this stuff is in his mind. And, <laughs> yeah. uh, hey, you understand what I mean? Which A phenomena called. of illusions so that each illusion will twirl, it, twirl in its own orbit. Uh -huh. Something similar to floating balls in a vacuum. When you fo float balls in a vacuum, the balls don't know where they are. Yeah, they just go. All they know up is and hey, down, up and, uh, down. and this is, look how this is backfired mm. here. In reversing the positions of the male and female savages, we had created an orbiting cycle that turns on its own axis forever, unless a phenomenon occurs and reshifts the position of the male and female. Now let me tell you something. God brings about a change. Mm -hmm. You know all of this that had been planned for us, putting so many drops of good white blood into as many nigger women as possible. Mm -hmm. Now we just look at life. Now, they, I, I'm, I'm not saying this, this is life. You walk out in the street now and you see some beautiful white ladies walking down the street with little brown skin, nappy head babies. Yep. What they have, what they have tried to do to us, <laughs> it has been done to them. And you know, look here, like in the book of Esther. Uh -huh. You know, like in the book of Esther, we take yeah. the book of Esther. The book in the scripture, the book of Esther. Esther had a cousin named Mordecai. Mm -hmm. And there was a big political figure named Haman. Mm -hmm. And Haman didn't like Mordecai. Right. So Haman says, I'll build a gallows 
75 feet tall, because I'm going to kill Mordecai. Mm -hmm. I don't like Mordecai. Absolutely. Huh? Are you familiar with that story? Sure I am. Huh? I most certainly am. Haman said that he would kill Mordecai mm -hmm. because he didn't like him. He didn't salute him. He didn't praise him. He dug a hole for him by yeah. building a gallows. Mm -hmm. What happened? If you know the story, what happened? What happened was he got hung on his own gallows that hey. he had built for Mordecai. That's what happened. But that ain't all that happened. Well, no, uh, because he, he asked the king, uh, what should he do? But, but, but what I'm getting at is this. He had his seed cut off. Well, he had yeah, ten he, sons. He killed him. He killed the. He died on the gallows, and all of his sons. All of his killed. sons died on the gallows because yeah. Haman had built the gallows for someone else. You understand me? And he was the one that was hung on the gallows, along with his sons. Cut off his seed. Now, what they had planned to do to us? Put so many drops of good white blood into as many nigger women as possible. And you look out there on the street. <laughs> and here comes down the street oh. a beautiful blonde with blue eyes. You understand what I mean? Mm -hmm. And she's carrying a little brown baby with sparkling eyes, with nappy hair. In other words, we know what you've been doing. You understand what I mean? When you build yeah. a... When you dig a hole for one, you might as well dig two. Yeah, I mean, it all happened. Look here, this is the way that God works. If you build a hole for one, you better watch out because it's allowed to be your grave. That's right. If you build a gallows for another man, you better know what you're doing because you can be hung on the same gallows Absolutely. that you're building for somebody else. Now, what they, had, what they had done to us, systematically planned to do for us, because I'll tell you what, they know this, that when you, when, you, when you take a man's woman, you take his nation. Mm -hmm. This is why for many years, the white man would kill you. You look at a white woman, and that means you get your neck broke. Mm -hmm. You better not look at her, because he knows if you take my woman, you take my nation. And how do I know? Because I've done it. <laughs> Because I did it to you. <laughs> the, hey, look here, okay. He's the voice of experience. Hey, that's, hey, that's right. Okay, let's continue. Oh, <laughs> this creation of, of a multiplicity of phenomena of illusions entails the principles of crossbreeding the nigger and the horse, as we stated above, the purpose of which is to create a diversified division of labor, thereby creating different lev levels of labor and different levels of illusion at each connecting level of labor. The results of which is the severance of the points of original beginnings for each beer illusion. Since we feel that the subject matter may get more complicated as we proceed in laying down our economic plan <laughs> concerning the purpose, reason, and effect of cross-breeding horses and niggers, we shall lay down the following definitional terms for future generations. Okay, when they're talking about all of this, what it goes back to is cutting off the nigger's original historical base. Mm -hmm. Cut off the nigger's history and give him our history. That's right. Don't let him know nothing about him. Then all of these other scientific things, hey, the labor and all of that, mm -hmm will fall into line, but we cannot let him know who he is. That's right. That's the most important. Thing. Yeah, if we let him know, if we let him know that, hey, he's the man who started mathematics, mm -hmm. that he's the man who started embalming, you understand what I'm saying? Yeah. Is that, is that, is that a, a, a figuring the Arabic numerals came from his part of the world? If we let him know that Adam and Eve was born over there in Africa. Yeah. You understand what I mean? They had to be and that they, Yeah, that, that, that they bathed in the Tigris and the Euphrates <laughs> River. We can't let him know that. They We've got to, to cut that off from him. Then we can take him and do with him what we want to do with him, but mm -hmm. not let him have that kind of knowledge. Okay. Don't the, let the black man know what he's all about. Don't let him know who he's all about. In other words, look here, 
You know, you've seen movies of where they might kill a king and he might have a little son who's an offspring and they want to chase him down and kill him because if he finds out when he grows up who he is, he will come back and claim the, th mm -hmm. the throne. Mm -hmm. huh? Mm -hmm. So you don't let him, don't want to let him know. No, you don't want to let him know. Even his guardians. Hey, even look look at look at the story of Moses. Mm -hmm. How a man who was destined to do a certain thing. And what did they do? They go around and they kill all of the boys. Yeah. To make sure they get little Moses. Mm -hmm. They kill all of them. But the man had a destiny. He was supposed to get in the river in the basket and sail down the river and sail right to Pharaoh's house. Yeah, he did. Didn't yeah, right he to Pharaoh's really house. Did. Then come out of Pharaoh's house and go back to Egypt to, uh, 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 um, to, to pull his people out of bondage. Yeah. Went right into Pharaoh's house. Mm -hmm. And came out of Pharaoh's house and went back to pull his people out of money because he found out who he was. Yeah. He wasn't one of Pharaoh's offspring. No. He's a little Jewish boy. Absolutely. <laughs> yes, yeah, right. I guess he, Pharaoh felt real bad. Hey, look all here. All those greats. <laughs> look here. Hey, let's continue. <laughs> okay. Uh, we shall lay down the following definitional terms for future generations. One, orbit and cycle means a thing turning in a given path. Two, axis means upon which or around which a body turns. Okay. Phenomenon means something beyond ordinary conception and inspires awe and wonder. Okay, phenomenal, <laughs> phenomenal, phenomenal, okay. Thank God for phenomenal. Four, multiplicity means a great number. Five, means a globe. Six, crossbreeding a horse means taking a horse and breeding it with an ass, and you get a dumb, backward-ass, long-headed mule that is not productive nor productive by itself. Oh, man, isn't that something? Hey. Hey. Gosh. Crossbreeding a horse means taking a horse and breeding it with an ass, and you get a dumb, backward-ass, long-headed mule that is not reproductive nor productive by itself. And, so who, and, and who doesn't know his ass <laughs> from a hole in the ground. <laughs> I mean, that's, that's what it's, hey, it's all here. If okay. he's dumb and backward, I would hey, think not. <laughs> okay. Uh, number seven, crossbreeding niggas means taking so many drops of good white blood and putting them, putting them into as many nigger women as possible, varying the drops by the various tones that you want, and then letting them breed with each other until the circle of colors appear as you desire. Oh, you know what that means? Hey, I tell rape, you. Rape on top of rape on top of rape top on of top rape. of rape on yes. top of rape. Yes, yes, yes. Until you get to, uh, oh, me. And the white rape. man said it was all right. Hey, <laughs> hey, look here. But this is why, look here, Ooh. this is why we are the way we are. I know. Yeah, this is why we are the way we are. Okay. Yep. What this means is this. Put the niggas and the horse in the breeding pot. Mix, <laughs> mix some asses and some good white blood. And what do you get? You get a multiplicity of colors of ass backward, unusual niggas running Tied to backward ass, long headed mules. And that's what we got today. Hey. You got a multiplicity of colors. Yep. Of ass backwards, unusual acting niggas. Mm -hmm. Right today. Yep. Today, 1998. And you We got a multiplicity why. of colors of ass backward, unusual acting niggas. That's what we got. Yeah. And, and then we wonder why. But, but we tell them why. Well, but you know. Yeah. Uh, I mean, they may have wonder. You know. They you may know. have wonder. Yeah. Yeah. Now but, you but, know. but one day, the name of Willie Lynch may become a household word. Hey. You understand what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. One day, Willie Lynch might become a household word. 
tied to backward ass long headed muse, the one productive of itself, the other sterile. Okay, in other words, look here. What they're saying here, and it says it in plain in plain English, that a nigga can produce another nigga, because mm -hmm. we're gonna need him for working. Yeah. But the other one is sterile. That's a, right. a, 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 a mule cannot produce That's right. another mule. Mm -hmm. You got That's to get a horse sterile. and an ass and put them together. Mm -hmm. And when you get them and put them together, and look what they pr produce. A dumb, backward ass, long-headed <laughs> mule who doesn't know his ass from a hole in the ground. <laughs> hey. And they done messed this thing up, yeah, have Okay, yeah. all right. The one constant, the other dying. We keep the nigger constant, for we may replace the mule for another tool. Both mule and nigger tied to each other, neither knowing mm -hmm. where the other came from, and neither productive for itself nor without each other. Hey, this is heavy. This is, this is, Phew. hey, look here. Hey. Controlled language. Crossbreeding completed for further severance from this original beginning. From their, from their original from beginning. From their original okay. beginning, we must completely annihilate the mother tongue of both the new nigger and the new mule and institute a new language that involves the new life's work of both. Okay, hey, now look here. Do you know that when they had these slaves here in America, that these black people would be telling them, and they would beat them? Yeah. Don't you talk that language? Mm -hmm. Don't you, don't you say that? Don't say that. Mm -hmm. You got to speak our language. That's right. Take that language. Look here. We must completely annihilate the mother tongue mm -hmm. of both the new nigger, because he will uprise now. Yeah. He will kill you. Yeah. And the new mule and institute a new language. The mule is not going to uprise, but they want the work out of yeah, him. Yeah, stop work. Yeah. They want him to be able to understand what they're saying to him take, with the new language that involves the new life's work of both. Mm -hmm. Okay, please continue. You know, language is a peculiar institution. It leads to the heart of a people. The more a foreigner knows about the language of another country, the more he is able to move through all levels of that society. Therefore, if the foreigner is an enemy of the country to the extent that he knows the body of the language, to that extent is the country vulnerable to attack or invasion of a foreign culture. For example, you take a slave. If you teach him all about your language, he will know all your secrets. And, and he is then no more a slave, for, he can't, for you can't fool him any longer. And being a fool is one of the basic ingredients of and incidents to the maintenance of the slavery system. Oh me, oh me, oh me. <laughs> Being a fool is one of the basic ingredients of an incidence to the maintenance of the slavery system. Yeah, and I think that if you don't remember anything else, you have to remember that. And this paragraph here, this little sentence right before you got to that. For example, you take a slave. Mm -hmm. If you teach him all about your language, he will know your secrets. That's Look right. here, they let him know what they were talking about. But do you know that they would, or uh, I, I have heard my grandmother say that they had cut off a black man's hand for picking up a book. Mm -hmm. See, my great-grandmother, Miss Lizzie Reed, was a slave. Mm -hmm. She was a slave until she was 12 years old. Mm -hmm. And she told my grandmother stories. And a black man picked up a book. They don't want you to have no knowledge. No. No, he picked up a book. And one fella had picked up a Bible. Mm -hmm. And looking through the Bible. And they cut off his hands. And see, you understand it here. For example, you take a slave. If you teach him all about your language, mm -hmm. now all you were teaching him is, is to work and to come here and to go and to pick cotton. Yeah. But if you teach him all about your language, that's the key, he will know all your secrets. Yep. 
and he is then no more a slave, for you can't fool him any longer. Absolutely. And being a fool is one of the basic ingredients of and incidents to the maintenance of the slavery seasons. Ladies and gentlemen, these are some of the reasons of why we are the way that we are. These are some of the reasons.